There we go. Sorry about that. I forgot to start recording. So I shall do that other piece again and <laughs> just say good evening to everybody. Um, this is Nikki from Angela Holtz Designs. And this evening we are doing a three drawed little box which I bought already made, um, which was the easy part. Hello Becca B and hello Deb. Deb is one of my DT sisters. It's nice of you to join us Deb. And Deb is the young lady that is going live tomorrow night on this same channel which will be I think it's seven o'clock. Yes Debbie, the glue is called Gilding Glue. Um, it's for the um, gilding flakes. I'm sort of just dabbing it onto the glue. And I'm just using a regular brush. It's quite a big puffy one and it picks up the flakes quite nicely. And you don't need to hash about trying to get them on there. I do love this stuff. And it's been a while since I've been able to get my hands on some. And I got it when I went to Birmingham the other week. As I was saying that Debbie, I think Debbie, are you you're all oh right. It's seven o'clock Debbie's time, which is actually one o'clock in the morning for the UK ladies. We all the programs are recorded, so if you can't make the live shows, then don't panic too much because you can watch them um, the next day once they've been recorded and they're put up onto either YouTube or here. But come on, I might need a little bit more glue than I need. It's drying a bit quicker than uh, I anticipated. Mind you, it is a lot warmer in here than in the summer house, which is where I did the first draw. So the glue's most probably dried a lot quicker. Now I'm just going to rub the sides and dab it across here just to make sure, basically make sure all the pieces are glued. Oh, wrong finger. <laughs> Why did my granddaughter think I was talking about her? Some of you will actually see the somebody talking with my name is actually my daughter and my granddaughter <coughs> that are downstairs watching the show. Um, my granddaughter has had have not been very well so she's actually got the rest of the week off school. Right, leave that one for now. Can you see once it's sort of fully set, you can sort of just brush it off any extra loose pieces. And we shall do a bit more glue on this one. If you have any questions, then please ask and I will um, get if I can't answer them, then I'm sure one of us crafty ladies can. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> Rebecca, you, Debbie's just said hello to you. <laughs> no, we'll go this way. It's a little bit quicker. There we go. Now we have gilding flakes everywhere. 
No, I'm not covering the handle, dear. It looks like I'm covering the little handle, but I'm not. I seem to have gilding flakes all over my fingers. Mm. Mm. Oh. Sorry, who asked that? Debbie. Mm. Mm. Ah, there we go. No, Debbie, I'm not covering the handle, or at least I'm not intentionally covering the handle because it's a nice little copper or silk, uh, gold looking handle. Right. There we go. Right. Let's put all these flakes back in before I end up wearing them everywhere. wash my hands I will be too sex because I seem to have glue and gilding on me. Right, so there we so far have the three little drawers all ready to go. As you can see, this one's a lot flatter. If I can show you, it actually doesn't do the colour of the flakes on the camera as well as they are here. But we will have them all flattened by the end of it. Now, you can actually do this a number of ways. You can paint the drawers if you want, um, as well as the box and the insides, but I'm just going to keep this as a nice decorative piece in my front room as a Christmas thing. And while I was away, we popped into the UK ladies or know, the shop called Wilkinson's, part of their Christmas range. They had loads of ribbon for three meters and a pound so I bought quite a few of these but they also had these four sheets of tissue paper for a pound and I thought as a cover for the actual box I'm going to go this way so you can see it a little bit easier I thought it would cover the box this way so it would actually give you a nice cover oh hi Debbie you fed your husband <laughs> don't worry mine hasn't been fed yet because he was busy <laughs> right so the first thing I really need to do is actually cut this paper down to size so Cut it about there, and that will be. I don't mind if it's slightly too big because then I can trim pieces off after. Debbie, you could actually DT Debbie. You could put a link to your um, new uh, page, uh, no, your new website for your um, 
napkins because what you do with them is absolutely fantastic. All right, now we want this so it. I'll get it right in a minute. I'm right, just trying to work out which is the best way to do it. That way, I think. Right. I'm actually going to use Mod Podge for this. Um, I haven't actually bought any yet, um, but Tina recommended trying it. She said it's fantastic, and so I thought, okay, fine. And she's given me some, so I thought I will give it a try, and we shall see how we go. Because apparently you don't need loads, and I normally just use PVA glue. But apparently this is meant to be a lot better. No, no, Becca, be a good girl. I shall see you tomorrow. And that's my granddaughter going to bed. Which you might hear her in a minute. <laughs> right, let's get the first piece done. And get the... More than likely. Seems everybody, yes, everybody's talking to my granddaughter. Oops. Oh well. It's. No, the Tina I went to stay with is Tina Teasdale. She's been one of my Facebook friends in crafting since I started crafting on Facebook. Um, I do know the Tina you're talking about. Um, and yes, I would love to go and see her because she's actually closer to me than most crafters are because she's in London. So we will have to at some point arrange and try and get to see one another because we're not overly that far from each other. Right. There we go. Right. Now, do I? Right. Yes. Hi, <laughs> Hi hubby. <laughs> We're here. You back there. <laughs> right. Yes, as you can see, my husband is who are you on as Phil? Who are you on as? Oh yeah? Well I can't see you. Oh. Okay, my husband is here but he has not yet commented commented. Yeah. Guys, you must pop along to Debbie's a uh, web page. She does some amazing napkins and party pieces and she designs them herself as well as makes them herself. They are stunning. I should have actually bought a couple up with me so you could actually see. Right, what I've done is you can see there's a slight extra piece here. Oops, more glue. Gives me a brush. And that will just help where I put it down here at the back. It will just help hide the corner a little bit more. Now, the reason my husband's moderating at the moment is we're actually in his office because he hasn't yet, yet had chance to move out. Because when he moves out, this will be my new home for a few months. Right, there we go. Down. Ooh, where are we? Ah, we're getting there all right. Ooh. Yep. Let's move that piece off there. Have to get picks loaded for the site. Okay. 
Ooh, ribbon clips. Oh, is that for the, like the wedding chairs and stuff, Deb? Maybe should have cut this to size before I started. Right, right that's that lot out of the way. Right, that's going to be the bottom. the rest of this glued on now but because this is going to be a Christmas piece mod podging the top when I finished before I decorate it should just hopefully protect the um, paper okay well thank you have any questions do please ask and my husband can relay them to me rather good consistency of glue this um, this mod podge I mean do you ladies think that it's better to use than to keep using the um, what's it called now what the children PBA that's it Opinions would be good because personally I at the moment just use the PVA. I do use other glues but I am um, water down. pushing all the little extra pieces in. Right. Okay, that's the top, because I want it this way. Right, I'm going to give this quick coat on top of the Mod Podge. as I say I want it to sit into the front room when it's done at Christmas and as I have two grandchildren that run around I don't make that three <laughs> done. Let me brush it out of the way. Oh, you make your own. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I don't know if we have um, Elmer's glue over here. I mean I haven't seen it but it doesn't mean that we don't have it. 
some of the pieces I'm actually going to be using on this box. I know I forgot something. I forgot my hot glue gun. Oh well. We're going to be using um, some of my pieces from the November Shabby Chic kit with Ange. And we have this gorgeous, these are proper pieces of glass with the metal casings and they're hanging off the ribbon and I love them I think they're really fantastic and I'm only going to use a, just one piece across the side here so you have two of the gems hanging down could you go and get my heat gun please mm -hmm. heat gun no glue gun sorry huh yeah the little one not the big one in the summer house on the plate oops the trim can be bought at Angela's shop Deb could you stick a link up for me um, for Angela's shop so people know where to go as I say these pieces are out of the November kit um, I'm not 100% sure if she's got the December kit up to go yet. Um, we also have this nice sort of piece of bling metal, which I'm actually putting the pearl in it. But you could put anything if you've got nice big sort of diamonds. I mean, I've got these little dinky ones, which were also part of the kit, and I love them. They are so blingy. If it didn't have draw handles, I would use the diamonds as draw handles because <laughs> they are beautiful. Yes, Becca, the trim is gorgeous. The This is another of Angela's bling. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use him yet. And this little clock is also out of the November shabby chic kit it is fantastic I do have um, one of the things I have made I did it ahead of time these are actually going to be the feet and they won't be staying on the pieces of metal I can't take them off Ooh. And these will be glued here, which is one of the reasons we need the hot glue gun. Of all the things I forgot to bring up. But I painted these ahead of time. I used Inca Gold for... Um, I don't know if there's any more glue anyway. That'll do for now anyway, once it's hot. Right, we shall leave that to get hot. <coughs> but yeah, all these little goodies, um, this trim, I'm contemplating on using this as well. Um, I don't know if you can actually see. It's AB, um, Aurora Borealis. So it's loads and loads of different colours depending on the angle you have it at and everything um, so I'm thinking of having that around the edge here not 100% sure yet um, and we have some of the flowers that I have been collecting <laughs> I collect them but they don't seem to last very long I seem to go through them rather quickly I'm in two minds about whether to put one of these on these were part of um, one of my first shabby sheet kits I bought. And as you can see, really beautiful detailed butterfly. And the other one is a white one. It's a lilac one. These I bought off uh, Fiona Jennings, which is Jennings 644 on YouTube. Um, most crafters know who she is now.
yeah, we're not sure if she's, as I say, I wasn't sure if Ange was doing a kit this year, um, because, uh, or this month, sorry. <laughs> so, check with Ange, and as I say, she'll let you know if she is doing the kits. Right. So the first thing I need to do is just trim this to size. I'm just doing it so I have two pieces hanging at the side there. So it will look. And we shall do the same on the other side. nice about the kits that um, Angela does is uh, they are full of bits and pieces and you get lace and trim that you just wouldn't normally be able to get your hands on. If you do love shabby chic stuff then please go and speak to Ange and find out how you can get hold of her kits because the more people that want her kits the better it is and it's easier for her on collecting all the beautiful bits and pieces um, um, I've been wary about using this particular piece of um, trim because I do I love it I think it is gorgeous right I think no are we hot not quite going to add a little bit of the bling, uh, hot glue onto the trim. And just add that there. So you can see. No, they're not expensive. They're really not. Even including shipping to the UK, um, the kits are not overly ridiculously priced. For what you get, I mean, I know the shipping is a bit much, but the chances are, if there's enough people that want them, then I might be able to do it that they all get shipped to me from Ange. But as I say, it's a matter of the more, of, you know, the more people would like them, then the more chance there is that we can get Angela to supply them. Because I would love for you ladies in the UK to have and play with her, her kits. I mean, I have shown videos of all the little bits and pieces that come in the kit. Right, there we go. We have the two side pieces. I didn't want to do it at the back because really you're not going to see um, the back quite so much. The first thing I need to do is actually get these feet on. These are just polystyrene balls that I bought in Hobbycraft. Yeah, like Debbie says, she does. She really packs them full. And sometimes you get antique pieces that you wouldn't normally get if you bought a shabby sheet kit of somebody else. Because Ange will go out of her way to find proper original shabby sheet pieces. And that alone can cost you a lot of money. Bought elsewhere. All right, dear? Well, Debbie, UK Debbie, um, 
I've had Angie shipped to me for the past few months and I've not been hit by customs. Um, well, as I say, hopefully not yet. Um, so it might be an idea for me to find a way that we can have Angela's kits shipped over. You put a link in, uh, in our link for the kits. And for a refit, yeah. Kits are only available through that particular link. Yes, that's very true. You can only get the kits through her blog. She has a particular page on her blog for that particular purpose. But as I say, the more people that inquire and that we can maybe sort something out and, you know, work out advert. All oh, right. Oh yeah, sorry Deb. Yeah, they do. They drive me nuts. Right. I'm just now rubbing off the excess or patting it, rubbing it or the excess pieces. That's better. It's a bit more flush now. Right, I think three pieces done. Let's move that out of the way. Now, do I or don't I? Right, let's put our drawers back. And so you can paint the drawers inside and outside. I quite like. Oh, I've frozen. Okay, Debbie. <laughs> There we go. You can see. What it looks like at the minute. I will be putting photos. Or doing photos once I've finished it. For everyone to see. Oh, more coming. Right. Do I or don't I put some of this? I like the idea of this going around the box trim edge. You still got an advert. Yes, there are more adverts than telly. I agree with you there, Deb. They're horrible. Right. Um, how did we? Yeah, you need to pay for the dearer one. Right. Um, where is my little camera piece? Right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here for you. That's it. That way you can see what I'm doing as far as these pieces are concerned. Thank you, Deb. Yeah, you can just see, because of how dinky they are, you can just see them. I think I shall just add a tiny piece down the sides, especially. I have a cat sitting there looking at me funny. I bought the drawers when I was at the NEC. Um, person that was doing them was only doing um, uh, no, 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 no. paper mache pieces. Um, didn't realise how much I spent till I spent it all. Because <laughs> I bought quite a few little bits and pieces. You can, I think, oh no I didn't buy these. No, 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 no. I bought these in the works. 
199. Yes, sorry about that. Yes, I got them in the works. 199. Yes, I forgot about that. Right. Glue's getting a bit on the short side. Hopefully that will work when you're gone. Come on, quickly. Oh, I prefer the bigger one. It stays hot quicker. Right, do I do it across the top or do I leave it? What do you think? Should I do a piece across the top, girls? Ha 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 ha. I don't know, you might be better off asking somebody that has the works near them, Becky, to send to you. I don't know if... Am I <laughs> yes, I most probably am going to Alexandra Palace next year, because that is actually a lot closer to me and a lot easier for me. Right. Mel? Could you please be a sweetheart? Could you buy me some summer house and buy me some skinny? Don't bother. Help, will you? I need glue sticks. <laughs> um, the little ones should be on the desk in the same place. Thank you. Yeah, this is why it's not good doing a tutorial or a live show away from your actual area of crafting. Right. A little bit more. I've got glasses here and I keep forgetting to wear them when I craft. Which will explain why I can't see half the time. There we go. Glue everywhere now. Right, there we go. So far, I've put the bead in just around. I'll straighten that up in a minute when I get a bit more glue. And I've just glued the four feet. As I say, they're just little polystyrene balls for the feet. So I think it looks quite sweet. I do love black and gold. Because a lot of people actually prefer black and uh, silver, whereas personally, I prefer it the other way around. Right. Now, what do I do with the top? I do have this. It is a little bob bauble pieces. Um, don't know if I'm going to use that yet. Yes, we have some glue. Yay! Right. Now. I agree it is. It's lovely. I do love black and gold. Now, do I have that in the centre? Or... Whoops, the bling in the centre. Yeah, I love the flakes. These ones are actually um, multicoloured rather than just the gold because you've got the verdigris colours, uh, you've got green, you've got copper, you've got gold. Got a bit of everything in there on that one. Got this one. If you're on about this one, Debbie, 
you, well, you know that one's Angela's. And where's the other one gone? This was in Angela's Shabby Sheet kit, but yes, I think they are from Miriam. I think them pieces are little gold baubles. Oops, oh god, dropped my stones in there. You have an advert. <laughs> These adverts are really uh, getting in people's way. Well, for flowers, I don't have gold flowers at the moment. I've got yellow, but I don't have gold. But I do have these, and I love these. I love the colour. And we don't have baby baubles either. Where do you get the baby baubles, to Becky? I'll wait until she comes back. <laughs> yes, I am recording the show. I think I should put that one in the middle and then put the flowers around that. Oops, scrape the keyboard. Oh, okay. Right, the gilding is by Indigo Blue. It's called Mega Flake Morris Dance. And all I used with the gilding flakes is the gilding glue. Do it that way. Focus. Hmm. Right, it's gilding glue and mega flakes. As I say, this is indigo blue, these ones. And in the first part, all I done was covered the drawers with the gilding glue, not loads, just enough to sort of grab the flakes, covered them in the flakes, left them to set a little bit and then just brushed off the remainder. Hope, hopefully that's a little bit easier for you. Right, now do we put that one there? Let me stick to the little ones. So I really do like this big bling. One of my gems are falling in. Hot glue gets everywhere. Straight. Right. No, it's still stuck. There we go. Right, finally. I do have a thing for burgundy. I do think it's a beautiful, rich, beautiful colour. Oh, we do have leaves as well. I can get them.
<laughs> what we're thinking so far, my darlings? And of course, we've got to put the required bling in there as well. Yes, Debbie, even I would watch. Because our Debbie from DT, um, she goes live tomorrow, one o'clock in the morning our time. Um, but it is worth staying up and watching. It really is. And it's Debbie's first live one tomorrow, the same as mine's the first one tonight. Yep, I think I shall have them as they are. I'll start by blowing the big piece in. So I've bought all the glue, but it looks like I left half of the wrong one behind, or left the right one behind. Big one in first, I think. Oops. And a bit OTT on that one. Yes, my big gulu gun might be a pain because it's so hot, but it is actually a lot better this sometimes than this one. Mind you, Ange does have a fantastic way of getting rid of the um, excess glue when you've done all the stringy bits. And you take your heat tool to it. And it seems to either just disintegrate them, <laughs> or it actually does melt them. But yes, they always disappear. Thank you, Becky. Silly question, which Becky are you? Ah, thought it was. <laughs> Didn't want to say so, just in case I was wrong. But I had a feeling it was you when you said about mainland. Thank you. But yes, it is. My, well, it's my first live show. I think it might be because where you're talking to people, where rather than when you do your a normal YouTube. You have people asking questions, whereas when you do a normal YouTube, you find it's... I was as well, Deb. I was really quite nervous. <laughs> I'm just adding a few of the little blingy bits, these little dinky stones. Oh, you're zooming out. Keep going off camera. Oh, sorry. Apparently, I keep going off camera. <laughs> but 
I will be with Deb tomorrow night. I shall be her moderator. So please do come and join us again. Because we have Angela on a Monday evening. Videos can be edited. <laughs> That's very true, they can. And also you don't have to upload them. As I was going to say, on Monday evening, or 1 o'clock in the morning UK time, uh, we have Angela on this channel every Monday night. And on a Tuesday, we have Scrapping Madge. Uh, she has her own channel. And then on the Wednesday, you have myself. And on Thursday, you have Debbie. And Deb, did we find out whether it's uh, is doing Friday or if she was doing a weekend? Because I can't remember. Hmm. What do I need now? Oh, bling. I must forget the bling. Okay. Oh, Sunday. Okay. So I do get to, uh, I do get to go to sleep early two nights a week then. <laughs> right, where's my pokey tool gone? There we go. Yes, I'm using these little crystal stickers, which I'm sure we everybody knows how to get hold of these or where to get them from. These are the gold and white ones and I'm using the gold ones in the corners. I'm just wondering whether I could do more. Oops. Yep, I like that idea. We'll go with the five. Our other Debbie, Debbie, you're let's get crafty, aren't you? She does the most stunning um, minis ever. On my very first swap, uh, she was my partner in the UK and Ireland swap group. Um, and the mini she sent me, I'm scared to put anything in it. It is gorgeous. It really is. There is a video where I've shown um, what I received. And it is. It's absolutely beautiful. And I have a couple of pieces that I've had made with the swaps. And I'm very wary about wanting to use them. Oops. Glue. Glue that piece. That's it. Hmm. This is annoying me now. Find a different glue to put across there. Just don't like that. Right. 
Right. I'm not sure. Do I put any a ribbon bow in there or do I leave it as it is? There you go, Debbie. UK Debbie. If you do a tutorial on your minis so people can understand and work out for themselves how to do the little books. <coughs> Would be a great idea because your minis are actually for quite phenomenal to me and everybody else that has received your little bits and pieces. Right. I think I am actually done. I don't want to do any more. If you can see the top. And then we have little bling bits at the sides. And I'll either I might end up taking this beaded stuff off round this. I might take off because it's annoying me now because it's not sticking properly. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, Debbie. You made me the one that had the it's black and red. Um, it had film stars in it. Right, yes, I'm taking that piece off because I don't like it. I shall find something else to put on there or I will leave it plain. Yeah, I don't... I ha The problem is that some of you ladies have some amazing glues from the States. <laughs> and for some reason, some of them I've not been able to find. I think I'll have to send my husband on a craft shopping trip for me online. He's the one that seems to find all the goodies that I need. Yes, yeah, so I've taken the pieces off around there because I think it looks a lot nicer. Hmm. That could be it. That could be it. G45 curtain call. But it's black and red. Oh, you want it? So I will... Um, the book's act actually in my summer house um, so I'm not going out there in the dark and in the rain because I'll end up flat on my backside which is what normally happens if I leave the house in the rain so <laughs> I will take pictures and I'll put it up for you okay so you can see what it looks like thank you Debbie I will if you can't find the E6000 yeah glue mm. then no, neither. Of, well, I have because I've seen Ange and um, Scrappy Madge. They both use them sorts of glues, and I think um, It's has used it as well. Right. So we have our four little feet, our nice gilded little drawers, and our little flower and bling top. And as I say. All the bling, except for these little sticky ones here, are from Angela Holt's craft, uh, Angela Holt's shabby chic kits. Um, as I say, if we can get more people interested, then I'm sure I can sort something out with Ange so we can get them sent over here for you all. Poor <laughs> Debbie H. That's what I'm going to call her Debbie H. There's adverts again. I really do hate the adverts on these things. <laughs> That's right, I keep losing my screen. Because my mouse isn't moving, my screen keeps going blank. <laughs> um. Oh, you get short me. <laughs> well, I suppose that's one good thing about the advert. So there we go, my darlings. I hope you've enjoyed this. 
Um, and we'll draw in me again, not next Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. Um, I'm still in two minds of what I'm going to be doing. Um, but there's a good possibility I'll actually be crocheting a flower or two. Mandy, <laughs> Mandy, we finished, darling. But don't panic. Um, we shall be doing... Uh, this is recorded, so it will be on here uh, later this evening. And once I work out how, I will be uploading it to Facebook also. Oh, don't ask how they do that silly thing. Because I tried it last time and it didn't work. <laughs> that little face with the little hands. Oh, Lou, sorry. <laughs> Don't panic. We have recorded the show, so you will all be able to see what I have done this evening. Which we can show you the finished piece. Our little gilded drawers that now don't want to open. <laughs> there we go. We didn't paint the drawers or anything. Some bling on the sides. Some little styrofoam feet. Okay, Debbie, I shall see you tomorrow, darling. Thank you very much for, for coming and joining me. And I shall see you tomorrow for your live one. Night, darling. Oh, see you later. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Right, I'm going to stop the recording, ladies. Right, goodbye my darlings and please join me next, not next Wednesday, the following Wednesday. Um, I'm not sure 100% what I shall be doing but I will let you all know as soon as I can. Um, and please if you can, um, I know a lot of you ladies work but those of you that have problems sleeping, please pop over here tomorrow night for... Debbie's first show because um, it's going to be great fun. Alright my darlings, I'm going to love you and leave you and I shall see you all later on Facebook. Thank you for joining me. Night night.